there, all you nerds, jocks, and valley girls. Das from Elemental here, and today I'll show you how to give your page a cool 80s retro design look that will make your page look wicked. Um, so let's begin. Our first section here is a hero section. Here I want to make myself stand out more, 80s style. And what's more an attention grabber than a flashing neon lights? So let's choose the cell headline and go to the advanced tab. In the CSS classes, give it a name, I'll call it sale. And under the and then under the custom CSS, I'll write this code. To get the neon light effect inside the curly brackets, I will add text shadow on top of a text shadow. The code is built like this. The first number is the horizontal shadow, the second number is the vertical shadow, and the third number is the blur radius. So after you put all the numbers, you need to pick the shadow's color. And here, because I want to make the neon light effect, I will start with the white color and finish it with the flashing pink. So the code goes like this. Next, I want to make a small adjustment to the year number and flip it so it will be vertical. First, let's add an intersection and put the fry in one column and the year in the second column. Then click on the year column and in the advanced tab, give it a name. After that, open the custom CSS tab and write this code. Here you can see that I have different kinds of browsers in my code, so it will look the same in each browser. Also, if you want to flip the number to the other side, you just need to add a minus at the beginning. That's it. So first section is ready, you can really see the difference. Usually people tend not to use CSS, but rather use images instead. And it's a shame because it's really easy to create it as a live text, Plus, it looks way better, and it also renders faster too. So it's a big plus here. Um, moving on to our next section, the bullet section. So the first thing I did was to create the entire stage in Photoshop to see how everything will look like before I start build it. In the headline, you can see the neon light effect from before, and underneath it, I added three triangles with an icon and a title. So for the 3D animation, the triangles will have a transparent background, it means that the text in the back will appear when it's not covered by a layer. So I added some black smoke on the sides of the triangle, so the cover will blend in and still will cover the back. Basically, there are three layers to build in the editor, the background, the icon, and the title. Let's see how it's done. In the editor, drag in the Flipbox widget. In the Front Contact tab, choose an image Add a graphic element and a title. In the background tab, choose color and change the color to transparent. Then add the triangle to the image section and change the position so it will fit perfectly. In the back tab, I did the same thing, but instead of adding the title, I added the text. Moving on to the setting tab, here you can play with the height of the box. I use the VH unit because it's a relative unit, so it will change the image relative to the visitor screen. It makes it more responsive. In the effect part, I kept the flip effect, change the direction to the left, and switch on the 3D depth, so it will get the, this amazing 3D effect. So now, when we hover over the triangle, we can already see the effect. I could do this for hours. Okay, next. In the last two sections, I used our new and improved widgets. The first one is the reviews widget. With this widget, you can add all your comments that you get from your social networks by adding a star rating and social links. That makes everything more reliable. Next is the countdown widget. In the countdown widget, we have a new option called Evergreen Timer. With this new option, the countdown starts every time the user goes to your website and gives the user an extra push to buy your product. Now let's preview the page to see how everything will look like. That is so radical. So you can see with some small adjustments, we can change the entire page and give it an 80s touch that will make ourselves really stand out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the latest updates and tutorials. Bye!